Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sandhya here from Shekhar Eye Hospital, a consultant ophthalmologist and a glaucoma specialist. I'm here to talk about something very mesmerizing in your eye and that is a blind spot. Yes, you heard it right, a blind spot. A spot where you can see nothing from your eyes and it exists in each and every one of us. So let's do a small fun-filled activity here. Grab hold of a small little A4 size paper and make a marking like this, like I've shown here. So you make a plus and you'll make a dot. Plus, you're going to place in front of your right eye and the dot in front of your left eye. So hold it in front of your eyes. Next, close your right eye and with your left eye, focus on the plus mark. Now move it forward and backward a little and hola. You're going to find a point where you cannot visualize the dot and that's your blind spot for the right eye. Same thing, you can do it with your left. So now close your left eye, focus with your right eye on the left image, move it forward and backward and your right image, which is the plus sign, will disappear. So this is fun. You can make your kids do this by having small little pictures on either side. So you could have a treasure island on one side, a ship on the other, and you can see both of them will go in and out when you close the other eye. Now, however fun filled this is, have you ever wondered why we cannot see this blind support normally? So that is how mesmerizing this organ is. First remember, we have two different eyes and our brain is extremely advanced. So it basically takes the images from both the eyes and then makes it into one single image for us. So when we're looking at the right eye or talking about the right eye, the blind spot of the right eye lies to the right of the center. Similarly, of the left eye lies to the left of the center. Whenever you're looking through both the eyes, the right eye blind spot is covered by the image you're visualizing from the left eye and vice versa. So there's a small little merge happening and this merge happens only in the brain. That's how good your brain is. Now what happens that, that you cannot see this blind spot even when you keep one eye closed? That is the question here. Now I'll tell you why that happens and why we have a blind spot at all. You should know that when you're looking at any object in, uh, in the world, how your eyes are seeing it, it's because light is falling on the object, reflecting onto you, then passing through the different structures of the eye. So it passes through something called as the cornea and then the lens and then falls into the most important part of the eye. We call it that as the retina. It's like the nerve layer of the eye. You can compare it to a screen or, you know, a, a film that we used to use initially when we take a picture. So this retina in turn has 10 layers. Yes, 10 different layers. And in them is a layer which mostly absorbs all the light. Those are the rods and cones or what we call as photoreceptors in the eye. Now that particular layer of photoreceptors lies really behind in the eye. Following that, much ahead of that are the other layers of the eye or the retina which are involved in converting this light energy into an electrical signal. And then this electrical signal has a conduit. What is the conduit? It's called as the optic nerve. So we have about 1 million nerve cells from each of the eye passing through the optic nerve and the optic nerve then passes through the entire distance of the retina and then makes its way across from behind the eye and you have the optic nerve at the other eye coming in and merging all of that in the brain. So this exact point in the retina where the optic nerve is moving out has no photoreceptors at all, has no rods and cones. So any image which is falling right over there is not going to be converted into an electric signal. The gas, isn't it? But let me give you a good point there. You have the cells which are at the border of this area of the blind spot and your brain is so advanced like the AI apps that we have where you erase the background, get a common background. So what the eye does is, the cells which are present at the border, they take the image, 
and they make it a small little background so an even image and that's how it evens it out you're not even aware of your blind spot so these blind spots were fun isn't it they're there in both the eyes don't have to worry about them now there are certain things that you have to worry about when you actually start seeing a blind spot when you're looking somewhere and you see a dark patch, now that is not normal for you. That is a red flag for you. You have to come and visit a doctor. And why do these things happen? The small little area of blind spot that's supposed to be there is there, but there are areas of nerve damage or retinal damage because of retinal problems, what we call as a macular hole, a retinal degeneration, or a condition called glaucoma, where you'll not be able to see and you perceive big blind spots. If that happens, come to us. If not, have fun, learn more about the eye. We are here to help you. Come back to us.